Our community, you guys, we're trying to feed the community right now. We didn't have to do this. We didn't have to do this. And none of this. But we love our community. We love the, we love art. We love dance. We love the fact that we are free. We love the fact that we can speak the way we want to speak, dance the way we want to dance, dress the way we want to dress. And we do that out here, you guys. So please just respect what we're trying to do and what we're trying to give to you guys as we do it, all right? Sorry, Tess. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Is that good? Yeah. Y'all want me to go? Let's do it. Oh! Oh, chill! Oh my goodness! The cipher, the circle. It's important for us to understand the cipher as a technology, as a as a remember ring, as a 360 degrees. One thing we always talked about was elevating the cipher. And so, when you, when you want to elevate the cypher, you walk into a cypher with intentionality. There is no time I enter the cypher where I'm not thinking about uplifting and exalting my ancestors. There's no time that I enter the cypher where I don't exalt and acknowledge the unborn. We dance, y'all. Dance for black people is, is like breathing. It's like the inhalation and the exhalation. I have to say in this moment, we have to cypher for liberation, for change, for a paradigm shift. This is why I cipher. If you have no perspective, if you do not have the emotional intelligence or the, the capacity to understand that there's none of this without black women, what are you doing? What are you doing? Vegan soul food, by the way. <laughs> we like to keep it healthy and black. <laughs> Thank you. On January 31st, 1865, neither slavery or involuntary servitude, except as punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. Such a good speech, right? That's, that's awesome, great. Oh, you have more. The freedmen are advised to remain at their present homes and work for wages. Um, uh, okay. Work for wages where they were previously enslaved. We deserve to live. Our blackness is beauty, not just outer, but inner. We are filled with love and poetry and art and music and dance. Now is the time to fight for our inalienable rights. All of us, all colors, working in tandem to create change, to abolish the crime of murder, for just living as a black human. Okay, such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful poetry. Oh my goodness, Jerry, that stop playing.
so much.